In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and set up the ChatGPT web browser on your Mac. The first thing we need to do is to open our web browser and you want to go to chatgpt.com forward slash atlas and I'll leave this linked in the description below. Once you're here, you want to click on download for Mac OS and then you want to go ahead and save the installer to your Mac. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we have the installer downloaded to our Mac, we want to go ahead and open it up. And after a couple of seconds, you see the screen. Now we simply want to drag the application into the applications folder on your Mac. And after a couple of seconds, you should hear a noise to indicate that the installation has finished. So now we've done this, we can exit out of the installer. we can go ahead and delete it from our Mac if we'd wish to do so. Now all we need to do is to go ahead and open the application. So for the example of this video, I'm going to use the application screen. Because it's downloaded from the internet, you see this pop up. So you want to select open. And then after a couple of seconds, you see the welcome screen to the ChatGPT Atlas web browser. So before we continue further, we do need to log into our ChatGPT account. So to do this, we're going to select login with ChatGPT. And then it's going to open the login screen. So you want to go ahead and log into your account just as you normally would. If you don't have one, you want to select sign up and create an account from here. Once you've logged into your ChatGPT account, you'd be prompted to import data from another web browser. So to do this, we're going to select start import. Then you want to select open settings. And then you want to give ChatGPT Atlas full disk support from here. However, it is not listed in this example. So we're going to select the plus button at the bottom. And then we're going to use touch ID or passcode. And then you want to go ahead and select the ChatGPT Atlas browser from this list. Now you want to select open and it should be added to the list. So we're going to select quit and reopen. Once it's reopened, we can close out of the system settings. And now we have gave ChatGPT full disk access. And because we've done this, it has now automatically imported all of our data over from Google Chrome to our web browser. From here, we want to go ahead and turn on the browser memories if you'd like the web browser to reference your history to give you smarter suggestions and actions. So we're going to select turn on. Now it's going to inform you about some features of the ChatGPT web browser. So you want to read through this and you want to select continue. And again, once you're ready, you want to select continue. And then it's going to prompt you to use this as your default web browser. So if you'd like to do that, you want to select set as default. And in the system pop-up menu, you want to select use ChatGPT Atlas. Now we've finished the setup, we're going to select done. And now we can go ahead and start using the ChatGPT Atlas web browser, just as we normally would. Now to use the web browser, all you need to do is to type a URL into this box here, or you can go ahead and type in a prompt, just as you normally would, into ChatGPT. Below that, you see some suggestions that you can type into the search box, and these are going to alter and change based on the information it gathers from your web browsing habits. If you want to access additional settings, you can click on your account icon in the top right hand corner. And here you see different settings such as bookmarks, downloads, extensions, passwords, and other additional settings. You can also go into an incognito window if you'd wish to do so. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. 